when chefs in the United States think about a fairly traded product uh, and a fair labor, they often think that it's something that happens outside of the United States. But if you're in Miami, Florida and you drive two hours, it's happening there. So we're here at the office of the Coalition of Immokalee Workers, and it's a community organization based here in Immokalee, Florida, which is kind of the tomato capital of the U.S. It's the hub where people meet every morning and get on buses to go out to the tomato fields and harvest the nation's tomatoes. La historia de este de este caso es que los trabajadores estaban viviendo dentro de un camión de yuca. Ellos estaban pagando eh, como si ellos tuvieran tuvieran una vivienda. Cada mañana, pues allí tenían que salir, los llevaban a los campos, regresaban, se volvían a meter allí y y el contratista eh, cuando cerraba el, el portón de, de atrás del camión. Lo, le, le, le ponía un candado afuera, los trabajadores quedaban adentro. Let, let me start by saying a little bit about where we come from. Imokal is uh, one of the poorest communities that exist in Florida, but there's a place where they have cut cost of production always, and that's the worker. That's why we started our campaign, the campaign for fair food. Campaign for Fair Food asks some of the major retailers, those that buy the tomatoes that people here pick, to begin to take responsibility for some of the conditions um, in the fields, and also to only buy from farms that have good labor practices. I find that there's a big disconnect between the produce that we get to the restaurant and how they're procured. We, we have the capability of becoming more socially responsible by communicating these issues to our local community. And by creating awareness, we can make a substantial contribution to the campaign for fair food. Today I am here to show support to the Immokalee workers on behalf of several organizations. I am here as a student from Boston University. I am also here as a uh, member of Centro Presente, which is an immigrant rights organization. And I'm also here as a restaurant worker. I work in a restaurant called Taranta in the North End. And in our restaurant, we serve tomatoes. And we want to make sure that our customers enjoy the good flavor of a good tomato. But I don't believe that a tomato that was grown in unjust conditions has a good flavor. So I do not want to offer a tomato like that. I think that my, the customers that come to the restaurant where I work, they want to eat a good tomato that is not tainted by unjust labor. So we're here to ask Stop and Shop to pay attention to the Immokalee workers and sign the fair trade agreement. Thank you. Woo!